Hello and welcome to Trojan Talk. I'm your host, Aaron Taylor. Today we'll find out a way that folks in the community can help the Troy Pike Cultural Arts Center. And my guest today, Director of the Center, Morgan Drinkard. Morgan, thanks for joining me today. Thank you for having me here today. And as I mentioned, uh, the Troy Pike Cultural Arts Center uh, it has become a uh, great place for folks to enjoy artwork here in town, but there's a way they can help out because obviously it needs a little bit of financial help. Right. And so uh, tell us a little about ways people can help out the Art Center. So. Yes, as a, a nonprofit mm -hmm. cultural arts organization, we're always looking for ways to, quite frankly, keep our doors open and make sure that those doors can stay open free to the public. Uh, we don't like to charge an admission fee. Don't ever want to get to the point where we have to do that. We want everyone to have the same opportunity to enjoy what we do in the museum and the Johnson Center for the Arts. And we've recently had a very generous donor present us with a membership challenge grant. And and the details of that grant are that they want us to continue to build our membership base. Those membership dues are what help us keep the doors open free of charge. And so they have presented us with this challenge. And every dollar over what we raised from membership the previous year, last year, they will match it dollar for dollar up to $10,000. Okay. So right now we're really just encouraging everyone to consider a membership. We have multiple levels of membership right size for every budget and that will be doubled so your contribution to our center is is automatically doubled and we want to encourage everybody to help us meet that goal well let's let's talk a little about the membership levels there because yeah. uh, obviously you're looking for a financial uh benefit uh financial donation for the art center through this membership program tell us a little bit about how people get involved in, and what are we looking at the cost for yeah. this so. we have a variety of levels of mm -hmm. membership they start at an individual level mm -hmm. for 25 dollars okay. a family membership for more than uh, two people or more, $50, okay. a Centennial membership for $100, a Friends of the Arts membership for $250, and then a Director Circle membership for $500. Okay. And a lot of times people ask, you know, what are the benefits for those different levels of, of membership? Well, that was my first thought. Okay. Well, are, there, are there any exactly. benefits to this? Well, so. since we are a free museum mm -hmm. and we're a nonprofit organization, really your membership is your level of commitment to what we do. We we don't, you know, a lot of museums are able to charge, I mean, able to offer free admission for members. Well, we don't want anyone to have to pay mm -hmm. admission, so we don't offer that. The, the main real differences are a family level membership and above receive mailed invitations to all of our events, okay. and individual members just receive emailed mm -hmm. uh, invitations, and that helps us financially with the cost of and expense of postage and mailing, but, but really it's just your commitment to what we do. If you, if you believe in what we do and you want that, you know, uh, right now it's matched dollar for dollar. So if you're able to give 100, that's multiplied into a $200 donation. That, that's wonderful for us. And, and you mentioned there, all of this is going to just trying to make sure the facility functions and stays right. open on a day-to-day -day basis. So how important is it for these pe right. for the, the people in the community to get involved and be a part right. of this? Membership dues make up 38% of our income mm -hmm. for the year. We receive 14% of funding from government entities, and that's the only confirmed with our with our budget, which is an operating budget of two hundred and fifty thousand dollars a year, only fourteen percent of that is confirmed when we start our year, which is a very scary thought. <laughs> the rest of that comes from writing grants and membership dues and, and individual donations above and beyond membership. And so it's extremely important for our day to day operations. We want to continue to provide the quality of exhibitions that are just top notch for our community, and and those cost money. We we try to you know make relationships with artists and allow them to. Exist exhibit in our facility and try to minimize those costs, but you know we never want the quality of what we're offering here to, uh, in Pike County to go down. So we want to continue. Uh, for example, right now we have an artist from New York who's exhibiting in our gallery. There were obviously some expenses to get that artwork here and to put it on the walls and have it displayed. We have a great exhibit from the Smithsonian, and even though they donated the pieces to us, you know we had some costs mm -hmm. to get that on the walls. So we um, we just appreciate every every donation that we can get. Now, if anyone is interested in becoming a member, how can they okay. become a member? Uh, one of the easiest ways to find the membership form is to visit our website. Okay. And our website is www.tpcac.org. And that's the initials for the Troy Pike 
Cultural Arts Center. And under the support tab of that website, there is a membership form. And um, But even if you, you don't want to look for that form mm -hmm. and you just want to mail in a check, as long as your check has your um, mailing address on it, we can still send you, send you a membership card from just that donation. Mm -hmm. You don't have to have one of those forms to fill it out. Of course, it can be brought by the Johnson Center when we're open or um, you could call us and, and let us know that it's on its way mm -hmm. or we could pick it up. <laughs> now we do not at this time accept credit cards okay. because uh, you know there's a fee for doing there that so check or cash only and and another advantage for us not offering any incentives at different levels of membership is your donation is 100% tax deductible. Okay, if we offered benefits like free admission or offered you a discount on art purchases, then that would not really be 100% deductible. So you don't okay. receive any goods or services. It's 100% donation. Well, uh, good luck uh, with the fundraising and hopefully uh, folks will help keep uh, the doors open and keep it for free for the people here in the community. Thanks for joining me here today. Thank you.